in the talks that you can do that in the corridor or outside. And also when you come in, well, you're already in, so that's redundant, but you can try to spread this culturally to the next generation to come in. We try to squeeze in the seats of their space. It's still calm now, but by, by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, well, by 1 o'clock perhaps, it'll be very full, I hope. Okay. <coughs> what we've tried to encourage the speakers to do is to first demonstrate their work and then explain their work and then answer questions. So I try to avoid this uh, slideshow disease where we just look at screenshots of things. And what that means is that if you have questions, just interrupt. So I encourage you to do that. Try not to be a troll. Um, constructive questions are always welcome, and I think speakers will enjoy that. And for the speakers, I will, I will just say five minutes before we, uh, we shut, and then at, at the time, we will just stop. So very brutal, I will just interrupt and stop the speakers. So I'm moderating the whole day long. Uh, Benjamin and Vincent are doing the audiovisual, which is a hard job, and round of applause for them. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And as you will notice, I'm filling in time until people arrive here, so I'm just talking about anything at all. At the end of the day, so you can see our talks, there's a bunch of different talks which cover um, pretty much everything in the IoT space that matters, I think. It's a good selection. At the end, we have an open space, which is normally one hour. Now, there were a few speakers who wanted to talk about things, but who were too late for the program. And we did have a deadline, and I told them, look, you, we're not going to just keep extending our, our deadlines, but they will come possibly and present their stuff after that. And they will do shorter talks and more discussion. So by the end of the day, people tend to leave, and it becomes less structured, and we will do, we have the room until about, I think until about uh, 5 p.m., maybe 5.30. So if there are things that you want to talk about that you have seen during the day and you want to come and talk about or propose or encourage others to come and present, that's the time to do it, okay? And it'll be very informal. Just, just tell me that you want to speak, and we'll find space if there is space. Otherwise not. Okay. That's it. Everything is being recorded by FOSDEM, by us. And we'll be online very soon. Is it live as well? I don't know if it's live or not. It was last year. I don't know this year if we got that working. It's live? OK. Does and how about the microphone? Is this working? Or microphone working? Microphone working? Testing, 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 testing. Can you hear me? Is this working? How about now? So the only problem is if on the recording, the audio is really bad. So that's why it's worth having this. OK. Five more minutes. What can I talk about in five minutes? Sorry? Well, I will, give you, I will give you a vision of the Internet of Things, right? It's just computing in the future. Nothing special about this at all. <coughs> the, notion, the notion that uh, this has somehow, whatever this thing running, running a fancy stack is different than a general purpose computer. Like this or this, I think, is bogus, as my opinion. And the future simply is running uh, full stacks on everything, smaller or larger. Mm -hmm. And there's, in the end, really no difference between running clouds. Oh, do come and take seats, please. Don't block the corridor. Move in, move in, sit down, because otherwise, you know, things don't work. And if you must stand up, go and buy a copy of my book. Don't be, af don't, don't be afraid. Um, so I think what we're seeing in this, in this dev room is the development of protocols that work better for the highly opportunistic and slightly less centralized networks. So it's a, it's a vision of decentralization over time. But it's not really very different than cloud decentralization or you know, mobile phones in a home or whatever else. That's my opinion. But then what do I know? Good, good. I read in, in the textbook that one in five developers is involved in Internet of Things. What do you think about that? What does that mean? I mean, they have a mobile phone. You know, I don't know what that means. 
they're certainly not here today. <laughs> I mean, the, um, who, who, who here is developing IoT stuff? So okay, that's one in three of developers. <coughs> so Sash thought it's wrong. That's my answer. <laughs> So our first speaker, who I'll introduce, uh, Arnaud Lundstra, I just checked your name here, is going to talk about ZOCP, which is the only talk today which involves zero MQ, which I'm so proud of, that we're not really using this event to promote my favorite Internet of Things technology, which is zero MQ, and our protocols. Come in, come in, we have space. <coughs> and Arnaud will talk about ZOCP, which is a protocol built on top of zero MQ, and which is used for orchestration of live performances, which means music, right? It can be. It could be. Yeah. Okay. So, what time are we? Oh, dear. I've lost my. <coughs> this is the problem. The small screen. It's 800 by 600, apparently. How is it? Yes. That's what it looks like. Well, uh, I have to squeeze the terminal in. Then. Okay. <laughs> This is why, you know, little beeping things are better than lots of presentations <coughs> on the screen in general. But, okay. Yes? Wait a minute. Okay. But we have to wait another two minutes. What can I talk about in two minutes? Good God. Anyone here using XMPP? Anyone using MQTT? Anyone using ZMTP? Okay, just these are some protocols that are used for IoT development. Um, protocols are very important because they underlie the contracts that PCs can talk. If your <coughs> device can talk, a protocol that other devices can talk, then they can interconnect. Otherwise, they're just sitting by themselves in some island. So maybe next year we'll talk about protocols in more, more detail. Maybe not. Well, we'll take a five-minute break, because that was very exhausting. <laughs> uh, anyone wants water? You can come and ask for water here. We have water. It's mostly for the speakers, but we have lots of water. And uh, don't forget the books, O'Reilly's, my daughter. And um, we will introduce Arno again in about five minutes, yeah. five minutes' time. So thank you all. There we go. Gracias.